This is a 300 point game between the Federated Sons and the um, Capella Confederation. Uh, the Federated Sons are a vehicle company. We are defending this city as our primary and that city as our secondary against the Capella Confederation Phoenix Hawk Vindicator Longbow Battlemaster. Locust, Assassin, Raven, and Spider. The, they're coming in from that corner. We are coming in from this corner. And we have two SRM carriers, two Bulldogs, two Demolishers. We have two Rommels and four Peregrines that have not made it to the table yet. Um, the Compelling Confederation, their Longbow is here as a skill two. Four, six, six with overheat of one and direct fire of six. Oh, that's gonna suck. Ow, I can feel it now. The Vindicator is a two, two, two overheat of one as stealth armor, ECM, and indirect fire of zero. Battlemaster also ECM, indirect fire of zero, and stealth armor is threes across the board. This one jumps six inches. <laughs> The Phoenix Hawk 5L, which is 220, Stealth Armor, Energy, ECM. Oh boy. We have an Assassin, which is a 1 1 with a 0 with an asterisk, jumps 12, excuse me, 14, and uh, indirect fire of 0. Raven, which uh, this is one of the good ones. Uh, ECM, Probe, Recon, Snark, and Tag. Uh, energy Locust that moves 24 inches. And the classic spider energy funness. And then we're going to go over to the Federated Commonwealth. Not Federated Common, Federated Sons. Uh, the Peregrine Attack VSOL is three skill threes. One skill four. It's the one with the three blades instead of the six blades like those warrior attack helicopters actually are. The Rommels are... Pretty good, they're both skill two tanks. And then we have two bulldogs, which were also skill two, not that they really need to be skill two, but that's how the points worked out. <laughs> the SRM carriers, these are the 3054 upgrades, which means they have narc, deal six damage, have a possibility to deal seven, along with everybody else that has, um, uh, what is it? Missiles, dealing one extra point of damage if they actually land their narcs. The Demolisher Heavy Tanks. These are the defensive versions. These guys um, hate things and hate things well. These guys are skill threes. And that was deployment and halfway through turn one. We'll go back to the end of turn one here shortly. All right, at the end of first round, the tanks are trying to get to their secondary objective and try to, like, hold stuff still. Uh, the helicopters are moving in to try to slow stuff down. We were able to land two hits on this Battlemaster, who is hiding behind a level one hill. The longbow decided to nuke this poor peregrine. Did, I don't know, six points of damage whenever it can take two. And everybody else is trying to get on the board. So that was the end of turn one. Bottom of turn two. We have the tank brigade. Our, um, well, that one's taking some damage. He's got a motive hit. He's down two inches of movement. He's also at half of his structure, so he will be fleeing. Um, we tried to ambush this spider over here with some uh, helicopter fire and failed. We tried to shoot from this helicopter all the way over to the Assassin because he's a better target than the guys in the water because they have partial cover and and stealth, and uh, the Assassin has neither of those. This Demolisher has, dis has dispensed hate to that poor <laughs> Locust over there, and he went, you're dead, bang, and it happened. Uh, let's see. I think that was it for shooting because nobody else actually was either in range to a good target or the modifiers were too high to be able to shoot things. Prohibitively they were prohibitively high. So that was all we had for, for damage at the end of turn two.
So All right, bottom of turn three. This Demolisher hit the Vindicator, messed him up, and then they decided to return fire at this Demolisher, and they had to get out of their tank because their tank is now immobile. And uh, they have to flee the battlefield because uh, they're going to die. Uh, this Rommel is not off the table yet, but this Rommel and this... Demolisher have taken damage while the two SRM carriers are not doing anything and the two bulldogs are being prohibitively close to this city so that way they don't go in there. The helicopters are doing their jobs of harassing. Um, that one landed three points of damage to the longbow. That one landed three points of damage to the Phoenix Hawk and that one caused internal damage on the Phoenix Hawk. The spider spotted for indirect to tag that demolisher and make him very sad, which is why they got out. Everybody else either um, didn't do enough damage to note or contributed to damage to these two tanks. And I believe that would be the end of round three. This is bottom of turn four. Uh, this Rommel has not made it off of the board edge yet because we decided that this 18 inches was his board edge because that's where they came in from. So he's been working as fast as he can at his six inches of movement um, for the last two turns to try to get off. Um, we have my SRM carrier finally joined the fight and then died, but he killed an assassin in the process. The, uh, that guy we already talked about last turn. This one decided to move past the spider and then shoot it in the back with its turret and killed the spider because of hate reasons. But that was after this Rommel, this Rommel, and this bulldog all fired at this spider and missed. The demolisher shot it, killed it. The SRM carrier decided to aim across that pond over there and pluck out this raven um, from medium range, hit it with the narc, and then landed its SRM damage. So it did seven points of damage to the raven, who can only take five. Um, the peregrine finished off the vindicator that was in the water. This peregrine failed to do any more damage to the phoenix hawk. The Phoenix Talk also didn't have any targets because he's facing the wrong direction. Uh, the Vindicator shot... where? I don't remember. The Vindicator shot the... Vindicator the tried to shoot at the Demolisher. Yes, yes. the Vindicator shot at the Demolisher, did its two points of damage, stunned the um, and stunned the crew, but did not do anything else. And then, moving over here, this Bulldog... And that Peregrine decided to fire at the Battlemaster, removing its last three pieces of external armor from the rear. And then did two points of internal damage with no critical effect. The Battlemaster fired... where? I don't remember. The level? I think so. And then I think he missed. So, uh, damage recap for the... Um... The Capellans, they destroyed two Peregrines, left the other two alone. They made the Dark Rommel tank get out. No, I'm sorry. The, the Dark Rommel is retreating. The Light Rommel is half damage. The Bulldogs were untouched. The one SRM carrier did not die. Oh, uh, this SRM carrier, the one with his turret off, died from indirect fire coming from the longbow. Um, and this demolisher tank is going to be running next turn. But we are going to call this match because my friend has to leave, unfortunately. Because, yeah. And, um, well, the Federated Sons have kept the nasty Liao yep. out of the city, and we have accomplished our goal so far. There are the delaying action to keep the Liao out of, uh, out of the Liao has a busted um, Phoenix Hawk, a busted Battlemaster, and a touched but not busted longbow left. And that leaves 
the Federated Suns with uh, one SRM carrier not running, a demolisher tank that is running, a Rommel that's not running, and two Bulldogs that are not running along with two helicopters that are not running. Things are disappearing from the board because my friend has to leave. And that will be the end of our game.